Uh, we're back with another episode of the Bad Guy Podcast. YouTube dude, episode seven, man. This is not gonna be light. <laughs> well, it's gonna be funny after his few first topics. But uh, yeah, man, episode seven. Shout out to Josh for coming for sixty nine. Man, he exposed me at the end though. And then when I re- cut off the recording, he kept exposing me. <laughs> We can't be back on for like I said, 125 episode 125. But all right. Uh, also, I wanted to tell him my Kramer story, man. I forgot I mentioned Seinfeld, but I ain't branching my story. It was about me running out of gas on the highway, man. I was rolling below E. <laughs> I thought I had it, Josh. I did not. <laughs> I was stranded. You know how that goes. I'm light. You know how it is. But all right. I'll probably probably tell that they um, ran out of gas when they got a person on or something, you know? Somebody that can communicate it. Well, I mean, I play, I told plenty of solo stories, so anyway. Anywho, villain of the week, Ronald Reagan, man. <laughs> it's going to sound crazy what I'm about to say, but, you know, bear with me. Though he is in my top five presidents, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All the time. Shout out Dwight D. Eisenhower, too. Now, uh, of course, it's what he did and all that, but it's really what this one tweet. Uh, and I don't want to post it on the screen, but I will. There. But yeah, man, she said married to a white man, but still making sure that black people get covered, exposure, awards and recognition. Something that black men never do when they marry white women. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't saying we completely no we're completely cooked we're cooked <laughs> and i love what the tweet say yo what ronald reagan did to the black community and if lebron pick <laughs> they said bro he went crazy in game seven i see somebody said he left a legacy so crazy even jordan couldn't compete with it bruh that's we cooked man like she blatantly lying right so you think Okay, you know, they'll say a few names in the comments and she'll be like, all right, well, maybe not all of them. Or, you know, they never do that. She doubled down. She pulled a Rex on us. Now, but, it, you know, it's a slight Rex, right? At first, she's like, they bring up Jordan Peele. You know, all his movies has a black lead. Always. He also said he can't write a white lead. So he's always going to make a black person do it. And then she'll say, that's just one person. They'll, he'll, they'll bring up Donald Glover. I don't know why they hate on him now, but you know, still. But now they'll bring him up. She'll say, that's just two people. Then they bring up a whole list of dudes. <laughs> and she'll say, yes, but the vast majority still don't do it. Listen, man, when I tell you, man, they just they just lie. <laughs> and they double down on the lie and it gets worse. Like you would think, okay, it's just like. Oh yeah, Jeremy Jeremy P. Okay, cool. That's just one, but you know, I'm still gonna stick with my never. That's you know, all right. Stay by it. Stand by your trash opinion. But then you get more evidence in your face. You continue to double down. It's no helping us. Ronald Reagan cooked us. <laughs> nah, I do. Oh man, I don't know why those tweets. Well, I know why those tweets pop up like that. The person quoting them. But I don't want to see the other stuff in general either. Elon done messed up Twitter for me. So many people just liking stuff and I don't know who liking what. It's getting out of hand. But uh, yeah, man. You know how it is. Shout out Elon. I heard he's about to go to jail for Dogecoin. Ah. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Those going could never die. But now we got a few things to get into. Ah, uh, did I want to mention the Meg the Sto- uh, Meg Stallion? What you call it? The the picture dude, man. They said he gripped her. Steve, even Steve, and they came out and said something, man. <laughs> they said, "Watch where you put your hands at now." No, what I wanted to talk about was the. The W, not WNBA, the, the college women's March Madness, man. I don't know what it's called, but you know, I ain't watch it either. But, you know, of course, I seen everything that's going down on Twitter. 
I heard that one white girl go crazy though, man. She was hitting Steph Curry threes or something. I don't know. But um, what was it? Uh, the the angel. She did the hand wave in her face, <laughs> and they called a class list. Which the white girl did just did the game before. I don't know how far the days apart, but that doesn't matter. But you know, they ain't, they said she got that dog in her. <laughs> She's a badass. But when the black girl does it, she's ghetto. She's trash. She's classless. Man. I don't understand how people can see this happening right in front of them. <laughs> and then they say, they still say there's no alcohol, man. I don't want to say white privilege, but come on, white light. It's treated lightly when it's white, you know? We can see, we can all see that though, right? Like nothing happened to that Caitlyn girl. Black girl does and she getting bashed left and right. And you know how bad it is, man, when Sasuke boy Jason Whitlock comes out and defends her. Jason Whitlock is defending a black person. Oh my god. That's that's impossible. Improbable. And I already know Sasuke gonna be mad like my boy. Man, we gotta oh what, what's that tweet? When I call somebody y'all people. Well, you know, 90, 99.99.99. <laughs> I don't know why I keep adding points. But most of the time, I'm just trolling. But when I actually show y'all somebody that is y'all boy or y'all girl, y'all better hype them and double down with them. Just like that tweet. It was um the chick that wrote Albert Elementary. Great show. Phenomenal. People, people just, I don't know why she, well, I do wonder why she gets so much backlash. It's cause she went on SNL and said something like, "My show is friends, but you know with black people," and they saying at the height of your career, <laughs> you still want that white validation. <laughs> All right, bro, shut up. And then somebody said, "How can you blame her, man? She's married to a white dude," and that's where that tweet came from. Which I didn't know she was married to a white dude. Which you know, who cares? I mean, the problem is though, I'm on the side that says who cares. And then the people that say that, that they are on the side of who cares. But when a black male does it, it's problematic. That's all we're saying. And you know, you can be able to understand that, right? And then here we go with the, just don't trash black women while they do it. Of course, I agree with that. Do the dudes be slander? Yeah, they slander too much. But I mean, my gosh, Cesar, all he did was get bullied. Man, he got attacked. <laughs> nah. nah I don't even want to say just get over your trauma or nothing like but you don't got to voice your opinion you know nothing's wrong with shutting up and dribbling that's all I'm saying but I don't know if you can take that from me I'm the guy that I just always see in the shadows only voice my opinion to like people close to me so you know but even they don't even know what my real opinions are. But <laughs> God damn, I was called a bot the other day. I was called a clone of somebody else the other day. <laughs> now, what I was thinking, I was thinking like, I do just tell them random stuff, huh? Not random stuff, but you know, you know the truth, my opinion. And I don't know if they take it serious or not. Except when I'm joking, but they don't know that I'm joking. This is VC, you know? Which, bro, the random thought coming to my mind. It's going to be outrageous. But, you know, this, this is a pod with Morgan. Everything's going to be outrageous somewhat. I just thought, bro, do you know how, how many racist jokes cops probably get off in the back rooms? Like, I'm just, I don't know. I mean, they probably do it with a black cop around. But I'm just thinking, like, just a bunch of white guys, white cops in the room, like five of them, locker room, something. You know how many racist jokes they get off? And you know, I'm not saying that because I think all oh, cops are racist. I'm thinking that because you know how many racist jokes we get off. Well, I don't know. All my viewers are all men, or you know, some of them win it. <laughs> but let's just say the men side. Y'all know y'all close friend group. There's that one guy that's the racist. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh, that's definitely not me and my friend. I'm the wholesome one. You know, like out of M5, I'm the good guy. So. All of them are some terrorists. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But me, I try to keep it together. 
but just just think man that the racist jokes <laughs> only okay yeah. I was, I was about to say I'm good got to expose it. I only say a few raunchy things around Rex. All right. And Wave, Sasuke, Perry, Wally, Shaxx. Oh, God. Definitely Shaxx. And that's it, man. You know, <laughs> nobody else. I said hard. Yeah, hard too. Um, Yeah, that's all right, man. You know a few people, few dudes, you know what I'm saying? They can understand it. Can I say anything around key? Yeah. But I ain't mean to say it around key, man. He just be lurking in the calls, you know? And if something slips out, that's on him. How's that my fault? Mir? I ain't never say nothing around Mir. Well... Okay, let's do this. Okay, we'll, we'll check mark it off. But you know, let's let's that's a asterisk check mark. You know what I'm saying? Opio. Oh my god. Yeah. Stony Oh my god, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. I mean a few people. What was that? Like six three three to six people, man. Light. Stone oh, saucy. Definitely stone. Shoot the head, the whole ARL. But that's only like five p five more people. You know what I'm saying? So that's below ten. BDA, all of all of BDA. <laughs> oh, yeah, that server. That server. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. <clears throat> and this one server, I mean, I'm a great guy. I'm a great person. Oh, okay. Damn. Why, why am I, why was I, why did I go down this train of thought? I, <laughs> I completely forgot. Ah. Uh, at the end of the day, the, at the end of the day, end of the road, <laughs> Morgan is a good person. You know, I said that and I looked at the screen and Ronald Reagan is my profile pic. <laughs> and he's my villain of the week. He's a villain. It's okay. I am celebrating him being the villain of the week. Oh my God. What is going on? <laughs> Is this my realization stream? <laughs> Not stream, but pod. How am I toxic? No, nah, but for real, I completely forgot what I was saying. But y'all, yeah, when I mention it's your girl or your guy, that's your people. Well, you know, besides like, okay. I can't even say like most of the time. It's like actually probably 100%. That's not your people. But there's one time it was. That was Rex's girl. He'd been shouted out. I remember he was in the call hyping her up too. She did this Vine Morgan. She changed my life. I was like, bro, calm down. She don't know you. He's like, nah, man. She, like, all right. <laughs> let me, let me not go too far with that. Let me just. <laughs> okay. He was hyping it though. And I just said, yo, she married to a white guy. You know? And he said, oh, that is not my girl. Oh, what? But anywho, that, that was a, that was a bad train of thought that I just went down. I wonder where that's going to get me. Am I going to evolve after this? Most likely, but not in a good way. Oh man, and I've been watching so many, not so many, but TV shows and stuff on the side, just watching the background. Man, I'm watching Power Again, book two, season three. I don't even know what season it is. Show is bad. It's bad. But I'm tuning in every week, so I might be just as bad. No fall going crazy, though. No spoilers. I ain't going to spoil nobody. But, man, 
teach a man how to squabble. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm really, Rex did ask, was this is hyping up to be like the best season? I don't even know if my favorite season of Snowfall. I don't really, I was going to say, I don't, I don't really like, oh, it's crazy. I love Franklin's glow up, but I don't like, probably like season five or four when he was moving like that certain ways. I don't know, man. Back back early season when he was getting his hands dirty, when he was actually doing the stuff, that that's the Franklin I know. But it's all about the journey, man, to climb up to the top. Once he got there, I don't know, he started opening up real estate. He started getting screwed over by everybody. I don't know what he was on. Then he got screwed over for real. I tell you. He wasn't making a, he, he making boss moves. Of course he was. I help people. What about Mr. Wright? What about Kev? Damn, that first two hurt. Bring back Kev, man. Edelton's side. <laughs> nah, he was, he was a loose cannon. Bro was actually doing the crack. He said, yo, do not do this thing. You'll get hooked. You'll get messed up. He said, I got at least try, boss. Dumb. But all right, yeah. Snowfall Elite. Power and Tower of God. Woo. Oh, I haven't read that last. And I shouldn't say that, man. Rampant on my case, man. But yeah, I ain't read the last. The very last chapter that dropped. So, but I mean, it doesn't drop on Webtoon that we read. No, we read on like the bootleg site. The manga Panda. I ain't read that one yet, but I'm going to read it after this pod drop or something. I don't know. But who else is there? Um, Kingdom. I don't even know. Kingdom up or down. Fans in turmoil. People dropping the series after the last chapter. It's crazy. I only saw one person do that, so. But you know how many people I saw drop Naruto when Itachi died? Ooh. I don't even know. Damn, I'm trying to think what what major event. <clears throat> I do remember Big Mom getting amnesia and Wano. Made a lot of people get out. Uh, Luffy beating Katie Curry was a moment too. Mm, I don't know, but I ain't read One Piece in a minute anyway. But I barely know Captain Kido and Red Hair Shanks and uh, Teach or something. I don't know. Uh, no Black Brigade Marco Fruit is over. Oh man, I want to talk about my story too, just slightly though. Oh, I ain't dropped a chapter like the last two weeks, maybe last week. No, it's been two. But um. Not because I'm sick or anything. Might have been just a brief hiatus, you know. But nobody that read the series is over here. And nobody that's on the series come to the channel or for the pod. So, you know, we're, we're in separate worlds right now. So we're good. But man, when I tell you, the authors, we definitely plan ahead. We write out three chapters ahead, two chapters ahead, something like that. So you never be caught up. What happened to me? I wrote the chapters. <laughs> But the one I was supposed to drop right now, 48, I do not know what I want to put down exactly. Like, I know the gist and everything, but I feel like I'm missing something. So that's why I ain't dropped it yet. But all the other stuff afterwards is done, 49, 50, 51. I just got to get to 48, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, I get the, I think the, the end of this arc will be 57. I'm still not sure it's either 55, 57. I'm taking a hiatus. No gap. Month break. But let's pull up one piece of time skip. Uh, what's his name? Taba. Whatever his name was for Black Club. We'll take a month off. You know, something slight. Pretty much. Nobody cares about that. I just wanted to say it. Just so. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I will ever come back. In like five to six years from now to be like, oh yeah, this why I took a hiatus because I said it here in this specific 
episode. <laughs> I don't think I ever would do that. But you know, if somebody does, wow, man, I would hate to br somebody bring up. I would hate it. But I would hate having to explain it, you know? The early episodes when I'm debating. I don't even want to mention it because they be like, you mentioned that, then somebody go back and watch it. I was, I don't want to say I was messed up. I was just, you know, I was trying to figure out was Aaron Wright. That's all. That's basically what the question was. Was Aaron right? Was Light Yagami moving right? The answer is yes. But anywho. But last thing though, we got to watch a trailer. <coughs> we haven't did one of these in a minute, people. And you already know what trailer we watching. All I got to say is DC back on top. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, let's watch this. Oh. You can't see me, can you? Uh, let's see. Nope. Damn it, where'd you go? Oh, there you go. There I go. They don't call me no cap Morgan for nothing. All right, let's watch Blue Beetle. Hopefully it works. Cause I did not test the sound. God damn. Loud as shit. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. Oh wait, didn't I get flagged for <laughs> having it on the screen? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I got flagged for Marvel, man. DC wouldn't do that to me, would they? Let me see if I do this. Yeah, we'll just we'll just play it to the background. But yeah, they got my boy Miguel, man. Let's go. Anything I have to sell to reach. You always land on your feet, bro. You're how you know. They don't get out much. I just wanna rap. Kenny? I just wanna rap. Guys, I hope that's not loud. But do not open it. You went in to get a shot, and all you brought back was a hamburger. Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? what you want and sometimes it doesn't I, I i think i cut a bus in half the scarab chose you but it belongs to me hello you feel for your family makes you weak i just want to rap the universe has sent you a gift Hey, hold on. <laughs> what do they mean, man? Man, the fastest. But yeah, man, George Lopez in this hole, too. Hold on, man. This movie gonna change my life. I can already tell. By the way, George Lopez got thrown. What is it? 
I don't know, that that didn't look like him when he got tossed. <laughs> but uh, 10 out of 10 trailer, easy. You know what I'm saying? People say it look like a Disney Channel movie. Like, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> you know, that's not like, that's what the people asked for. <laughs> I don't trouble about that. But nah. Miss, but the worst thing, first off, song choice. Why is just want to rock <laughs> the theme song for the trailer? I feel like that did not fit. Also, George Lopez is the voice of reason. He's his uncle on um, Uncle Ben. Sheesh. I wonder how that's going to go. But all right. I mess with the trailer. DC shot me out. James Gunn put me in a no don't put me in a movie give me a writing credit that's all I need but yeah now let's get out of here man next episode I don't know I don't know you know but peace and prosperity brothers I might bring talks back I should nothing's stopping me Oh, I shoot. I definitely do need to get them out before the TikTok band come through, actually. The last great talks before they ban it, which is, I hate how people keep saying, no, no, I don't hate it. But they, they definitely do spread the information. Like, it's not a TikTok ban. They try to uh, control our internet. Which, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they've been trying to do that, fella. Y'all the ones that got to stop it, though. Not me. I'm cooling. I don't care. But, uh, yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh, Shazam. I ain't watch it. Heard it suck, though. But this is putting DC back on the map. Blue Beetle. <laughs> I remember I trolled Stone so hard about him ripping Blue Beetle. And now he really about to be the Spider-Man of DC. The, um, Tom Holland. Now, I'm glad it's Miguel, though. I don't know his first name, his real name. But Miguel from Cobra Kai. I'm glad it's him. And what black men did to Stacey Abrams is unforgivable. <laughs> uh, these people. <laughs>